Hi guys, welcome back to another Redstone video. Today I'm going to show you an updated version of one of my favorite flying machines. I expanded the floating water maker to have two lines instead of just one. So my idea was that it might be nice to have a bit more leeway for the boat to navigate around. So previously I made a version where I only had one water line. And there, yeah, the danger was always of falling off on the side if you maybe change direction or so. But yeah, basically now we got three white pathway to navigate the boat around, so this makes it a lot safer. Since the boat is also wider than a block, um, you can't also fall in between the two water lines. Obviously it would have been nice if the water would be three wide without the gap in between, but it seems like the geometry wouldn't allow this with the method I'm using to create the floating water. So something like this would have been definitely preferable, but yeah, I just want to show you again how we make the water float. And then I'll show you why it might not be possible to do this for yeah, something that's wider than a block. So the way this works is you retract a piston that tries to pull back a slime block structure but can't. And this way the water doesn't get updated. So if there wouldn't be a slime block structure and just retract the piston, then obviously the water gets updated and flows down. But that's the whole trick, how I can create the floating water. And if you would try this on a flying machine yeah, with a two white section then I would need to do it on both the sides and then at the bottom as well. So basically need pistons like this to all extend it at some point um, and would retract. But the problem is I could easily do it on the sides but not at the bottom because I would need to have a sticky block here but placing the sticky block there would update the water here. So if I remove this, then the water could flow down. Also doing one side first and then maybe switching around wouldn't work because then it just have the problem on the opposite side. That's already floating water. You would need to place the slime block there. And as soon as you remove the slime block, then the water flows down. So it seems like it's really not possible. So if you would try to maybe have an offset in between the pistons, then you would always yeah, still push the block um, into the position that we already have floating water. So no matter how you turn this, it seems like the geometry wouldn't allow it. But it works with the gap in between anyway. And we may say this, the flying machine is also a real beauty. So it's completely symmetrical and it's also built fairly compact. So you can launch it by activating one of those node blocks on either side. And you can stop it by placing a non-movable block in front. Just place an obsidian block or dropper here and the machine will stop and then you can launch it again later. In case you want to build this, I'll do a quick tutorial. And here's also the material list. Additionally, you also need a couple buckets of water. I designed this machine in 1.16.1, but it also works in older Minecraft versions like 1.15 and 1.14 if you still play those. It doesn't work in 1.12 and lower though. There might be an issue if you run this machine through a cold biome that the water might freeze here in the back. So you want to place some blocks above or just avoid cold biomes where there's a chance for the water to freeze. In order to prevent the important parts from freezing, there's also a light source here. Instead of the sea lantern, you could also use a glowstone block or a shroom light. Um, yeah, snow layer could also technically form here on top of this piston and update this one here at the wrong moment. You can prevent it by placing one extra sea lantern. All right, but now let's start the tutorial. Let's go over here. Then we have some space and build up the machine again. Okay, so I'm gonna start by placing three slime blocks like this and then complete the structure like that and place an observer pointing into the slime block here. Then we need a sticky piston and a stair block in front of that. Type doesn't matter, it's just for water logging. Okay, then here we also need these line blocks again, a normal piston, and then here two sticky pistons, and also an observer pointing into that. Okay, then we have two slime blocks and a sticky piston here, and then we can also place down a redstone block. You might want to place an obsidian here so don't uh, accidentally activate this. And then we go down, place another slime block and another sticky piston. Okay, then we place an observer that points into the slime block here and one that points to the sticky piston. 
Then two more slime blocks. Server. And another sticky piston. And then three more slime blocks. Go up by one. It's done a normal piston. And here in the back, server pointing into the block here. Then we go over two blocks and place another normal piston. The same on this set. One, two, and a normal piston. Okay, then we kind of need any block really. I'm using a glass block now. We place it here in front. Then a slime block, a redstone block on the side. And then a sticky piston on top of the redstone block. Here another sticky piston facing this way and two slime blocks like that. Redstone block here and then just one observer pointing into the slime block. Okay, then the same on this side. So the normal block again. Slime, redstone block. Sticky piston, sticky piston, server, and two slime blocks, and redstone block. All right, then we can continue here. I'm gonna get some honey blocks. Place them down like this. Next, we need slime blocks, that, and two redstone blocks here in front. Okay. Then we can also place down normal pistons facing this way. And now in the back, we need downwards facing sticky pistons so at the back of those normal pistons. Then here in the middle and also on this side. All right, then the next things we need is an observer, sticky piston, and then honey blocks again. Fill, fill it up like that. All right, then in front of the normal piston here, slime block, redstone block on top. And then we go down and one block over. And now we need you know, kind of any block again, but I'm using a sea linden here for the light source. And then below that we need a glazed terracotta. And then we also need two slime blocks here. Same on the other side. Glazed terracotta below and two slime blocks here. All right, then we need some temporary blocks to prevent the water from flowing out. But I see in front, we can also place the node blocks and the observers pointing this way. Technically on this side, you can also place any blocks, but if you want it symmetrical <laughs> and have the option to activate it from both sides, you can also place a node block and another observer there. Now you can activate it from both sides. All right, then, yeah, now we need the temporary sticky pistons here. We want to power those, and now we can put in the water. So we water lock the stairs, then place sewers next to the piston, and on top of the extend the piston arm. Same with this side. And now we need to, yeah. Uh, cause the water to not flow down. That's why we use the same trick here, just with the stationary setup real quick. Place down the slime blocks above. Block that can't be moved below. Depower the sticky pistons. Remove all of that again. All right, then machine is ready to go. You can remove the non-mover block in front and then just click the no block. You also want to have a a non removal block ready again to stop the flying machine. There we go. That's two floating water lines. And we can stop it again, placing the non removal block in front. Here you also have some push limit left, so you could also yeah add something for the player to stand on, etc. So this piston here is only pushing one, two, three, four, five blocks. So you could even attach seven more blocks here in the front. That's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.